Hey everybody, welcome back. David Dion and the Gorgeous Miss Lady Pop Hunter here with another weekly roundup taking a look at some of the things coming to the adult collector's market. Also, uh, I did put up the Kenner 1974 Toy Fair catalog complete virtual tour, which is actually being really well received. People are enjoying that quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And I will be doing and probably going up, I think Monday, Monday or Tuesday, the virtual tour of the 1983 Sears Wish Book. Did <laughs> you have any wishes in 1983? They're in here. Uh, probably not a complete tour because, you know, fashions and stuff like that, I'm sure you can do without. But there's plenty of other stuff in here that I'm sure that you would love to see. <laughs> a little teaser for you. And our giveaway announcement. I said I would announce it on the next roundup and that is today and so the winner of the sealed Muhammad Ali new Mego figure is who did we pick the name we drew is Travis Ferry if you are Travis Ferry then you need to contact us at the email that is provided down below so that we can get your details and send you your figure congratulations yay Travis yay Travis so we'll go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with Asmus Toys. Asmus Toys has another one-sixth scale Lord of the Rings figure, and this is the Elven Warrior, who is just a generic character. It's like a stormtrooper, basically. Oh, okay. So you can army build these if you can afford $190 a piece. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what was funny is the picture. Um, the picture I saw was smaller, and they show him this helmet comes off. I don't know if the coif comes off. That's that thing that he's wearing that looks like a ski mask. It's called a coif. They, when I saw the original image, I was like, what's up with his hair? I thought he had like an afro or something. And that didn't make any sense to me. But yeah, it's it's supposed to be a coif. And I don't know if he has hair under it. But 190 from Asmus, Asmus Toys. And they've done a lot of Lord of the Rings figures. Okay. That'll put us right into Funko Yay. with the 12 Days of Christmas and soda cans of course because mm. that's their new big thing here now is the soda cans but this year a mm -hmm. lot of the 12 days of christmas don't have anything to do with christmas yeah. like the um captain crunch yeah uh the spider-man and um expect the gadget yeah. usually they'll put at least a sweater a candy cane some <laughs> lights or something they could have done a christmas captain crunch because there is a christmas crap crunch. yeah or they'll change the colors That's to the true. traditional christmas colors but this year they kind of just they put a couple of things like the um mickey and minnie mouse as a ginger gingerbread, gingerbread. that yeah. was christmasy but everything else it's kind of just, oh, okay, here you go, 12 days Christmas without yeah. no, any... Thanks. Yeah, so. More 12 days, and this one was uh, done today, and that's the woo Diamond, Chester Cheetah, Glow in the Dark, Glow Worm, and Dead Optimus Prime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, Basically. and it, it's nothing to do, they don't even, I don't know. Deceased Optimus, Merry Christmas. <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know either. I don't know how well these are doing either. I don't think they're doing that well because actually the um, Mickey Mouse and um, like Many? the Snoopy, yeah, a lot there? of those things are still available. And I saw on eBay the um, Mickey and Minnie Mouse are only going for sixteen ninety nine. It's fifteen. Good. Yeah, it's fifteen ninety nine <laughs> on the Funko Shop. Yeah. So um, I guess the interest is starting to. Die or nobody's interested in those pops. I don't know, but okay. Yeah. Black Parade from My Chemical Romance, also uh, the it's pop a... of their cover. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you know it's famous covers. I guess they're doing. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I haven't even seen any of these anywhere yet. No, not, not one of them, as far mm -hmm. as I've I've noticed. Yeah, we don't really look though. Hey, Queen. Freddie Mercury. And he got uh, shot with a BB gun. Yeah, something. In Shotgun chest. in his chest. I guess that's supposed to be uh, body hair. Yeah, because you know he was all hairy yeah. and everything. Uh, Freddie Mercury, two versions. And then something from off of one of their album covers Queen, News of the World. That's pretty cool. Uh huh. Albums. Albums. Come on, Funko. 
Wow. Garbage Pail Kids, because I have these. Oh, okay, so, so you can get some more. That's something that I would be interested in, is the uh, the Garbage Pail Kids here. Well, at least it's only four. <laughs> yeah, for now. How many Garbage Pail Kids did they do? Like 500 of them? Mm. Leave me alone, Funko. <laughs> Who's that? Moff Gideon, because they're Mando Mon Mondays, so the t-shirt bundle. And oh, so every Monday they're going to do Mando Yeah, Marine Mando stuff? Mondays, and it's a oh, Target okay. tie-in. Oh, okay. I don't know what glows in the dark. It says glow in the dark, but... Must be that sword. Maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe it's the sword. Mm. Glows in the dark, Target exclusive, Mandalorian. And things say GameStop. Oh, yeah, okay, GameStop exclusive, Mandalorian, Mando Mondays. Oh, Mando just, money going everywhere. Yeah. Oh, they're going to milk it. Disney, uh, Man, uh, Mandalorian is saving the franchise because Disney screwed the last couple of films up so bad. Everybody's pissed. Oh, is it? But they're, they're, they're feeling like this is kind of bringing interest back to the fan, the franchise. Uh -huh. So they're going to hammer it. Some Pez, Mando Mondays. That's going everywhere. I guess so. And it'll sit there, too. <laughs> Spirit of Halloween exclusive. They already closed. Trick or treat. Well, they announced it like it's something new. Yeah, but you know they're like a, a pop up shop and it comes around during Halloween. You can get Halloween. it online. Oh, they're online? I think so, yeah. But trick or treat, Spirit exclusive, it says. Uh -uh. I don't know why it's so late if that's the case, but they announced it like it's something new. And it's, uh, who is it? Sam with Razor is what it says. And it looks like he has a candy bar to me. I don't know. Mm. More soda. Get ready for it. Here it comes. So there's your put, uh, Raphael. Well, the, all four of the turtles look the same, yeah, except for the, the weapon change. Oh, okay. With the glow in the dark, 12,500 of those. Quick draw McGraw. And these are already, they already did this exact same thing with the, with the, uh, with the pops, with the chase, with quick draw. It looks almost the same. Yeah. Martian Manhunter. With a glow in the dark version. Crash Bandicoot with a yeah, gold, gold a gold one. I don't know how that I never played Crash Bandicoot, so I don't know if that applies to anything that's actually in the game. I used to play it Did when you? it first came out, okay. yeah. Chester Cheetah. That's not a bad likeness. I'll give him that yeah, one. That yeah. That one's a and then the uh Chase has a bag of Cheetos in hand. Yeah, and he glows. Yeah. More Lucha Libres. Okay. Spider-Man and uh, Hulk. Last time I thought it was Spider-Man, it was Iron Man. <laughs> 15,000 of each of those. Jack Torrance. <laughs> From the shine doesn't look even the sketch doesn't look like him. No, didn't he do pretty <laughs> good with the sketch? Yeah. But that one, mm, uh. yeah. Well, if they made it look like him, they'd have to pay Jack Nicholson something, and yeah. I guess they didn't want to. Yeah. Uh, Pan's Labyrinth, the Pale Man and the Fawn, Vampire Jack. And then Funko Friday's Target exclusive, Starscream. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Which those have been turning up. You seen them? Well, I mean, the Funko Friday Target exclusives, they have been actually showing up oh, in Target. Okay. Yeah. Recently. Mm hmm. Target's been cracking down on adult collectors recently. Something I was going to talk about. Uh. From Nerf, Hasbro owns Nerf. <laughs> the Mandalorian Ambient Phase Pulse Blaster Nerf Rifle. Mm. Made to look like the Mandalorian's rifle. 120 bucks. It's not like when we were kids. Nerf was cheap. Not anymore. Hmm. <laughs> and that's the box that it comes in. Big display box. Power Rangers, Hasbro, Wave 8 of the Lightning Collection. So their masks come off? Some of them have interchangeable heads. I don't think it's a mask change. I think it's a head change. Oh, okay. 
these are what 23 22 23 dollars a piece mm -hmm. for the uh hasbro mm -hmm. and these Definitely are the images yeah and don't ask why these are turned because this is the way the hasbro put it in their little news blurb all the packages all turned different ways instead of facing forward <laughs> so thanks a lot hasbro but yeah the blue ranger and yeah it's a complete head change for him pink ranger sbd pink ranger Red Ranger. Yeah, I'm a sweater. Lost, Lost Galaxy Red Ranger. Yeah, it looks like he's wearing a sweater. He's not, though. <laughs> Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown in the future. And the Green Ranger. Zed Green Ranger. So if you're into those. Hot Toys has the Bat Pod. And they're calling this a reissue. I guess they've already done this. But that's the Bat Pod for the one sixth scale um, Christian Bale version of Batman. Mm -hmm. 300 bucks for this thing. Oh, wow. 300 bucks for the Bat Pod. So you must really want to do that diorama. Some people will get it just to have it, and they can stand yeah. him up next to it. Be careful, it looks fragile. All those little thin pieces. Yeah. There's another shot. To give you all of the different examples of how it looks. Mm -hmm. And there is the sixth scale reissue Batman to go with it, Christian Bale version, two hundred ninety. They That's don't. Not bad. They don't give you a full on shot of all of his accessories. He's supposed to have six hands and two heads and and a light up eye feature and stuff. Mm -hmm. But they don't really show it. And that's a reissue. Yeah, I believe so. Mm. That's you know that's probably about as much as you're going to be able to bend his torso. <laughs> I've worked with these before, man. They are stiff. Well, but they all that armor. You can't really yeah, move I know. with it on. You can't. They haven't quite figured it out yet. They don't have to figure it out. People are going to buy it anyway. Mm -hmm. Two hundred ninety Christian Bale. There, it's not a bad likeness. No, I'll give him that. Iron Studios quarter scale Stanley tribute statue. And that's all polystone. It's not mixed media. Hmm. It looks like mixed media, but it's polystone. Eight hundred and sixty for Stan, and they really? have two heads and four arms because where the seam is on the shirt, mm -hmm. the arms come out, uh -huh. and you can switch them. And he's got a closed mouth and an open mouth look. That's the closed mouth look. And this thing is, I said it's eight eight hundred and sixty, right? Yeah. Yeah, eight hundred and sixty dollars. And oh, there's the arms. the arm change with doing the Spider-Man thing. Yeah. And with the smiling face. Okay. Everything is always old Stan. Not that he ever looked that young, <laughs> but everything is always old Stan. I guess that's how people remember him. Yeah, that's how people remember him, I suppose. You're right. Kota Bukaya, one seventh scale. Thanks for the odd scale again, Kota Bukaya. Yeah. Star Girl. 125. 125. It must take a long time to lace those boots up. <laughs> <laughs> Only I would think of that. Yeah. From Lennard. Okay. You remember Lennard, right? No. Lennard, uh, they make like super cheesy action figures for Walmart, pretty mm -hmm, much. And mm -hmm. these are all Walmart exclusives. It's their Aliens line, and they're seven inches tall. Mm -hmm. And they also have a 12 inch version. Okay. So these are all 7 inch, and I think they're all 10 bucks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so there's the various aliens, Xenomorph. Why are you showing those? Xenomorph Warrior. Why not? Oh, I don't know. They haven't been released yet. They're due for Christmas. Oh, okay. The Xenomorph Runner with, with the, the little dog, dog yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you would have a gold alien, but whatever, uh, Leonard. They're making an alien TV show. I heard, yeah, I heard that. Okay. There's there's the Predator. They're doing Predator now. Mm -hmm. It's the, the same company? Jungle Hunter, yes. This is still an art. Okay. Various ones. City Hunter. Berserker. A little competition there for uh, NECA. Maybe these won't fall apart when you pose them. Mm. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> And there's their 12-inch one. And I think the 12-inch one's like 20 bucks. Oh, okay. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah. 
if you want an inexpensive predator to mess around with or yeah. just with the price point, it's not bad, really, yeah. considering. I mean, it's going to be cheap, cheaply constructed, of course, because it's Lennard and it's Walmart, but for 10 bucks, You can give it to your kid to play with. Yeah, if they're into that sort of thing. Yeah. Me go more reveals. Candy man. There's your, yeah, there's your candy man. Nobody ever does candy man. It looks like he broke his ankle on the way into the package. Yeah. You could have picked a different one to put use your for your official photo, uh, me go. Just saying. <laughs> just saying maybe you could have found one that was standing in there straight instead of looking like he was hobbled. But okay. I <laughs> that wasn't a bad movie. They made too many, though. What did they do, like four of them? I don't know. Somebody knows. I know they did, too. Somebody can tell us, because I don't remember. But, and I think they're making <laughs> a reboot of it, ain't they? Yeah, I thought so. Mm -hmm. I thought I heard that. Mm -hmm. And here's the reveal for Jeepers Creepers, which a lot of people said actually scared them. It scared me. Did That's it? That's the only horror movie <laughs> I've ever watched. Oh, no. And I don't even know why, because nothing in it, I think... But it just freaked me out. I don't know. I saw the first one. I don't know if I saw the second one. I think I did. You know what scared Toby? What? One of my my oldest son. He, uh, I didn't know he was there. I was watching one of the Freddy movies. I forget which one this is. Mm. And he came into the room behind me. He had been taking a nap. And he was mm. probably like eight years old or something. Mm -hmm. And it was the scene. Everybody knows this scene. Mm -hmm. Where the girl's on the phone. And then he says, you're my girlfriend now. And then the tongue comes out of the receiver and licks her <laughs> mouth. And, he, and then I just hear a screech from behind me. Because he screams. And I'm like, whoa, you're in here? Because <laughs> I, I would never let him watch something like that at his age. But that, that, that just freaked him out. <laughs> <laughs> and traumatize the poor kid. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. Mezco mm -hmm. getting in on the Predator Act. People kind of knew this was coming, though. Yeah. Predator Deluxe Edition. Why do they call it Deluxe Edition? There isn't a regular one. <laughs> but Predator Deluxe Edition 1 12th scale mm -mm. action figure. And with all the accessories shown, of course, he's going to have a spine. Um, yeah, mouthpiece, the helmet, the mask does come off, and there's a lot of light-up features and other features. This is $100 flat up. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, and it's you see there, light-up bio helmet, netted fabric bodysuit. So, mm -hmm. uh, of course, you know if it's going to be mixed media. Um, removable battery pack, uh, head portrait with interchangeable mouthpiece and bio helmet. So... That it's it's not a head change, mm -hmm. so you take you can take the helmet off mm -hmm. or the mask really, and you pull the mouth out and you put the new mouth in. Same okey doke that they pulled on the old Hot Toys versions, yeah. where the mouthpiece changes out. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that that'll work. Tattered fabric loincloth. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tattered, 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 and tattered, tattered loin. My tattered loincloth. <laughs> But yeah, that's not bad. Hundred dollars. Not sure exactly of the height on this, but it should be taller mm -hmm. than usually. One uh, twelve scale is going to run you between six and seven inches. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to guess this one's going to be about seven inches tall. Usually they're about six point two five ish mm -hmm. for an average figure. But you knew that was coming. NECA aliens, yeah, uh, seven inch variety figures. So that still falls into the one twelve category. And there's Sigourney's character, the astronaut suit version with her equipment. Because they're doing more of this now. People have been waiting for that. There's, uh, what's her name? The Load, the ball and chain who got everybody killed. Mm -hmm. I can't remember her name. They could have gave her an even more scared face. Because <laughs> uh, you remember her at the end of the film. Mm -hmm. I can't move. And the guy's ready to kill it. Mm -hmm. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, she made me mad. Mm. And Big Chap Alien, another one. Oh, okay. Only accessory is, uh, of course, the face hugger. More for Mecca, the Armory Wars, Coheed and Cambria. I don't know what that is. I just admit it. I don't know what that is. Somebody can tell us in the comment section down below what that is. And their Predator 2 Ultimate Stalker Predator. I do like what they did here with the way the display box works now, where mm -hmm. all the accessories are right up front. So you can look at it and you can see them all on the tray. Okay. 
I think that's instead of along that's, the side. Yeah, instead of being on the side, you can't see the accessories. I mean, a lot of people are going to open these anyway, but I like that you can see the pieces. Mm -hmm. For me, I like that. Yeah. I like it better if it didn't have a flap so that you could display it without having to open it, but whatever. <laughs> PCS collectibles. Rocky. One third scale Rocky Balboa, who looks kind of Asian. Does he have <laughs> interchangeable arms? No. So how you put the robe on? Uh, the arms are not connected to the body anywhere, so you can slip it over the arms, unless the boxing gloves come off. But I didn't see anything like that in the literature. Oh. It is all mixed media. You know, like the socks and the mm -hmm. shorts and everything of fabric. And then, of course, you got the Shamrock Meats Incorporated Italian Stallion robe <laughs> with a little advertisement on the back because uh, Polly stuck that on there to make a few bucks. <laughs> uh, $1,100. Ooh. Yeah. What's up with that? I guess because it's a third of scale. No one is money. I don't know about that likeness, though. Because I think he, I, I'm serious, when I first saw that, I thought he was Asian. When I just saw the face, mm -hmm. I, maybe it's the way the hair is done or something. I don't know. I don't know, but $1,100. Yeah. Pretty penny. Yep. Speaking of a pretty penny, Prime mm -hmm. One Studios, The Joker. Ooh. That uh, comes with a lot. This is also a third scale, and it is a tie-in with Blitzway. Mm-hmm. This is fifteen hundred dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, mm -mm, mm -mm. and there's a close up of the uh, the detail on the face, mixed media. You see, he's got what looks like rooted hair. It's good work. Yeah. Well, they gotta step up their pace because Queen Studios is, is Queen not Studios is part. Been, yeah, they've been doing a great job with their stuff. Yeah. Notice the eyes. Posable yeah, eyes. Yeah, because he's got to switch to <laughs> he's got to switch to move his eyes. Something I've seen in sixth scale figures occasionally. Mm -hmm. They put that glass eye in there now and make it look yeah. more real. Yeah. So you can position his eyes around, which is a cool feature. A lot of accessories. You know, you got the mask. You got the bundles of cash. They're all ones for some reason, but bundles of cash and. Lots of uh, hands and the knife and mm -hmm. gasoline and grenades and, yeah, and the, cards. the grenades that that pouch it hangs on the inside of his coat because mm -hmm. like, like that one scene. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Something from Rock Om. I wanted to show this because this is new. I'm not really feeling these though. <laughs> Why are you showing me? Rock Om. <laughs> well, because somebody might be interested, but you know, and it's something new. This is uh, this is up for pre-orders. On like you know, Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, whatever. Yeah. These are three inches tall. These are smaller than a raw GI Joe's. About quarter. Three quarter inches inch. tall, and they're supposed to have ten points of articulation. What is that? It's an action figure. I know, but who is it? it they're knockoffs. Oh, oh. They're they're. It, this is called Johnny Tombstone. I'm guessing it's supposed to be Blade or somebody. This is thirty bucks. And I'm like, for a three-inch figure? I don't know. Will you buy that at Walmart? No. Walmart's not going to carry that. This is a specialty item. Um, like, that looks like, that looks like it's supposed to be Leatherface, but it's not. It's Barbecue Butcher. I guess they can't say Leatherface. They can't say it. That's why I'm saying it kind of like knockoffs. Yeah, but then he got the Michael Myers head and yeah, the Jason head, Jason so you can head. switch it out. You can switch it out. And he's like a big exaggerated body. They say they're heavily into figures are influenced from like late 80s, early 90s uh, action figures and uh, video games. Uh, this is 25. Uh, Woodsman. Who I, I who is that? That uh, It's still the same body. I mm -hmm. mean, they just repainted the body. The body is like kind of wonky looking to me. But I guess, who is that supposed to be? Ash? I 25. 25 bucks. Uh, slap shot. Mm -hmm. Who's what? Jason. Mm -hmm. Twenty five. Fireface. That looked like um, yeah. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. I think this one's twenty. But then he can change into a wolf and a, 
Gorilla. Yeah. Yeah. Different yeah, things there. Merman. Merman. <laughs> <laughs> Mutant soldier. Oh, that's a uh, what name? Snake Eyes. Yeah, maybe. Frankenstein. Whatever Stone you want it to be. Yeah, twenty dollars. Uh, fish stick with a K. Mm. <laughs> twenty. Uh, and Ape King. It's the same heads and bodies. They just yeah. repainted them. <laughs> so I don't know. Rockom. Rockom. If anybody's interested. R O C O M. And uh, no, 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 dark one. dark claw. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, they're going to wear that mold out. Yeah, they are. They're like, we got this mold. We're going to use it. Sideshow collectibles. Mm -hmm. Dark side. I think this is like, what, 25 inches tall? I'm not sure about the scale. 635 for dark side. Look at his fingers. Yeah. Looks like he has arthritis. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, we're That's awful. Painful. <laughs> 635 There is a $650 version. You want to pay an extra 15 bucks for the extra portrait. Uh -huh. So you can have like smug dark side and frustrated dark side. Because his fingers hurt. Maybe. I'd be upset if my knuckles looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my arthritis. <laughs> also from Sideshow. Adding to their X-Men collection, Gambit, one-sixth scale. Mm. Gambit, uh, two different hairstyles, hair down and hair blown in the wind. The uh, energy cards and different hand, a lot of hand changes. Yeah, I just realized he has two set. the, I guess, regular hand and charging energy hand. And then the, the four different cards, all aces and the staff, because he carries a bow staff. Mm. Two sixty five. That's not bad. For Gambit, yeah, I guess so. His te his torso is not going to bend though. You don't think so? No, he's got that armor plate. He always wears that, and that you can see it there. I bet you he won't bend. Mm. Super Seven. Yeah, Super Seven. Super Seven has more of their horror classic line. Those look like photographs. They do. Yeah, Alfred Hitchcock, Metropolis. I don't think that's that's the name of the silent film. I don't know if that's the name of the robot. Mm. I'm not sure. Nosferatu and Avenger for a toxic Avenger, of course. Those look nice. Yeah. They're the cards. What do they run about? 18, 20 a piece, something yeah. like that. Yeah. For the reaction. Period. It's the same thing. I hear everybody say that, really, because I've, you know, I've circulated that a lot, and a lot of people say the same thing. It's like, yeah, the figures are, you know, neither here nor there, but the card art mm -hmm. jump, jumps out at you. Yeah. And from TV League, I've shown TV League before. These are generic because they did. Uh, I've shown who Red Sonia mm -hmm. and Vampirella and stuff from them. This is the female body red bikini version, seamless like vinyl body, and it's just a generic anime head. Mm -hmm. This thirty-seven dollars, one twelfth scale. Okay, then so you can put some. You can do on. whatever you want to do with her. Yeah. To you know if. You do one twelfth dioramas. Yeah. It's one of those kind of deals like uh, Damn Toys does mm -hmm. with uh, some of theirs, and they also have a white bikini version with a different head. Thirty seven dollars. I thought that was interesting for people who do twelve scale stuff. Okay. And I think that's gonna have to do it. Okay. Anything there you were interested in? That Joker stage. Oh, I know it. The prime one. Yeah. I should have known. <laughs> I should have known. That's okay, though. I know it. she likes the jokes. Yeah, I she do. She likes the jokes. And um, that, I, I kind of hope that they go back and make the um, Jack Nicholson Joker. Yeah, that's kind of been forgotten about. Yeah. Since the Hot Toys ones. Yeah. yeah. And, now, and now they're making these quarter scales and they're and way third better. third scales and yeah. it's getting bigger. And I, I got the Joaquin Phoenix one, so I'm going to get down so, it can, so I can put together a little... You know, oh yeah, have them, together. or even put them back to back. Yeah, you know, and then if they away. come out with the uh, Jack Nicholson, we'll be oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm not mad at you. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Anything else? No. Okay. I didn't see nothing. That's all right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hey. hey, hey. That's it's all right. all right because I mean it's an expensive hobby. It is. No matter all what. All of my hobbies are expensive. Yeah. I think, uh, I think the viewers can empathize. Um, the Funko Garbage Pail Kids. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Because I have them, except for the toy Tokyo uh, atom bomb. You might find it now because a lot of those things are getting yeah, really it's cheap. Been coming down. Mm -hmm. I don't have the toy Tokyo atom bomb. I never was able to get it, but I do have the other ones. Mm -hmm. I have some of the uh, mystery mini uh, garbage pail kids from Funko. Oh, okay. But they're big. They're like yeah, three inches they tall. Do. They're big, Almost chunky. Almost like dorm size. I have some of them from, I think, the first series, and mm -hmm. I don't have any from second series. I'd like to, but I never oh, got... Oh, they made more than one wave? Two waves. I didn't realize. Two waves, and then never again. They oh, stopped. Okay. But I... um. So there's 24 of them. Mm, how many you got? 12? Like uh, 10 or 11. Oh, you I ain't, forget. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. But it's, so that, that does intrigue me a little bit. Mm. Um, anything else? The Mezco Predator mm -hmm. is interesting. I've got that one on the back burner. And, uh, you know, I may or may not because I'm kind of really invested with the 112 stuff. I've got a lot of Mezco 112 figures yeah. and other 112 figures. but I know. like the Predator, but I'm not a fan of 112, and I'm not going to go down that road. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hot Toys is about to come up with another Predator, so I'm saving my pennies for that one. Yeah, and she has the very first Hot Toys Predator, right? which so is actually a pretty decent sculpt. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it does. But I'm going to get another one. You could get the 12-inch Lennard Predator. Who? The one from Lenard, the one going to wall. <laughs> it's only twenty dollars. <laughs> and uh, I was almost tempted by the Stan Lee, just because it's Stan Lee. And Are you I mean, serious? There's there's no real legends in the business left. They're all I don't know. It doesn't it? feel the same. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, I do have the Hot Toys uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Stan Lee. And the one that, where he's sitting on it. Yeah, the one in the, the, in the astronaut, astronaut suit. suit. Yeah. I really like that one, mm -hmm. actually, even though you can hardly move them. Yeah. But I like that one. I think that's enough for me. Okay. But, you know, I'll throw it out there. Hey, guys, did you see anything you like? Tell us about it in the comment section down below. What caught your eye this week? What piqued your interest? Uh, remember, she took the book away. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do uh, a virtual tour of the 1983 Sears Wish Book catalog for all you uh, kid adults out there. We'll get a kick out of that. We were flipping through it the other night, and it, yeah. it, 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 does, it sparks the memories. It really does. It does. Do check out the Kenner Toy Fair 1974 catalog complete walkthrough that I had just done. That one will spark your interest, too. A lot of people are really happy with that. And remember um, Travis. Travis. I got the piece Fairy. of paper right there. Fairy. 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 Travis, Travis Ferry. Ferry, you won the Muhammad Ali new Mego carded figure. Contact us at the email address down below with your information. Okay. And I, anything else? No. Well, what more can I say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.